What's up everybody, my name is Shannon and I am still waiting for my Seder and today we are talking about Solitaire by Alice Osman. I am so happy that I found these books, especially now during quarantine because they just, they make me so happy. They make me feel so understood. Like I, I swear to God, I like almost cry or like literally cry every time I finish one of them because I don't know what it is. Like Alice Osman just writes these characters that I relate to so freaking hard. So Solitaire is a story about a girl named Tori. She is in high school, she is, kind of going through a lot. Um, I think we all kind of go through a lot of things when we are Tori's age. Tori doesn't really feel like she connects with anybody. She doesn't really feel like she's attached to anything. And she definitely has a very like pessimistic view of herself. The only things that she finds comfort in are like watching films and like writing for her blog. But she meets a boy named Malcolm. They kind of come together because of this weird online prank thing called solitaire going on. And through him, Tori kind of finds herself again. And that's something that I really love about all of Alice Osman's books that I've read so far. And it's that they're not love stories, but they are love stories. Like every time her two main characters meet, what happens is they save each other. Like they were on the brink of something horrible or like depression was setting in or they didn't know who they were, but then they meet this other person and suddenly like they are able to come back from that. They're able to find themselves again. Like they mutually save each other. And it's normally through this intense friendship that they curate like throughout the book. I related to Tori really hard, um, especially when it came to just her feelings of like this spiraling depression and like feeling like nobody cares and nobody does anything, not doing enough, nobody's doing enough. Like I think we've all like gone through a period of that, but it just like really hit me and that I just really connected with that and really identified with it. And I loved that Malcolm like saw this in her, but instead of trying to like make her feel better by kind of like erasing it, which we do see happen with some other characters, he really just tries to connect with her and he tries to get her to see like, no, I'm here. Like I see you and I am your friend. Like I truly do see you. And that was definitely the lifeline that I think Tori needed. This book is described as like the catcher in the rye for the digital age. And I think there definitely is like some echoes of that. You can definitely see that this book was inspired by that. It's not the catcher in the rye, as in it's a retelling, but it is in that I think Tori and Holden are going through the same kind of things and the narrative structure is very similar. One line that also really hit me towards the end was just because someone's smiling doesn't mean that they're happy. And I think that really gets to the core of this book. Like you don't ever know what's going on with somebody. <laughs> like just because you see them every day and just because they act a certain way when they're around you does not mean you know who they are and does not mean that you know what they're going through. And I think Tori, like finally recognizing this not only within herself but then seeing it with Malcolm and seeing it with her other friends like it was just a really really cool story and I'm really really glad that I got to read it. I liked seeing the tie-ins and references to her later books especially since I've read all of her books pretty much backwards at this point and overall it was just a really really fun read. I don't know if it's gonna be for everybody kind of because you know like Catcher in the Rye is not for everybody. It's a narrative structure that is very pessimistic and it's very like talking focused so I don't know if everybody is going to enjoy it because a lot of people don't like Catcher in the Rye, but I think it was just absolutely like unbelievably well done and I really, really loved it. So I am giving this book an A plus and I do really recommend it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like button down below and don't forget to subscribe to Top Books with me every week. That is everything I got for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye.